very roughly speaking, I'd probably say about 75% chance that we're going to see a recession in the next four years. Probably around a 20% probability to a recession at the beginning of Trump's um, presidency. But I think there's a greater chance of a recession towards the end of his presidency. I think he's got uh, basically history working against him. Uh, this cycle is actually already quite old uh, compared to prior cycles. If we make it to the middle part of 2019, this will be the longest U.S. expansion ever. Uh, so I think actually it would be a surprise if he didn't face a recession. Well, I think that there are three main ways that Donald Trump could face a recession during his presidency. If Trump were to impose a 45% tariff on China, as he once threatened to do, and a 35% tariff on Mexico, as um, he has threatened to do, then that alone could bring U.S. GDP growth down to 0%. Um, a second way would be if some of the geopolitical risks that we now have were to materialize into global conflict. Um, and I think this is the toughest one for investors to wrap their heads around because it's impossible to guess exactly where the conflict might break out in the Middle East um, between the U.S., in various areas between Russia and Europe now as well. Um, and that would provide a headwind for U.S. growth. And finally, I think that there's a risk that we could go into recession under Trump if the Fed were to get excited about in better inflation figures, which we probably will be seeing. You know, the fact that inflation pressures begin to bubble up, the Fed has to raise interest rates, and, and eventually that does lead to, uh, to, to a downturn in interest-sensitive sectors, things like housing, uh, things like uh, like car sales. And the reason why the Fed raises interest rates is because the U.S. economy basically gets up to full capacity. There's really not much more room to grow and we begin to get real inflationary pressures. Now, the good news is while the Fed has finally begun to raise interest rates, we're not really seeing a whole lot of inflation pressure. So I don't see a recession around the corner. And I still think there is a slight chance that we could get through the next four years with, without a recession. So I think that probably our best line of defense against a recession um, is a series of fiscal spending measures. Um, and sure enough, Trump has um, suggested a number of them. Um, I just don't think that we're going to get the fiscal stimulus in the US um, that Trump seems to have promised during the campaign at least. Um, and even if we were to get it, I don't think it will hit the real economy for much longer than most investors are expecting.